Welcome back to Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Today, we're going for a test drive in an 04 Corvette. This has got the 5.7 LS motor. We're gonna be taking it down the road, pointing out in it got a flaw so you know exactly what you're getting. We do this with every car on the lot. After the test drive, we're gonna come back, point out chips and scratches in the paint. I do have 100 detailed pictures, financing and shipping options for you. So hit subscribe, share this channel, and if you want some gear from Maple Motors, we got the store loaded up with some new merch. Within the next couple of weeks, we're gonna have a lot of new shirts coming out as well, so uh, be watching for that. In the time being, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior, check everything out, get her started here. This one's got 68,000 miles on the dash. All your gauges are working and up. Reserve fuel's on, so we have to get gas. We'll ride around at first with the top up. Halfway through, we'll take the top down. We got cold AC right now, and I'm liking it. Nice and clean in here. Radio is in the office. I guess they took the factory out. The cluster there is not cutting on. It is blowing cold, but it's definitely not cutting on. It's like the most world's useless cup holder. <laughs> Sport mode, tour mode, traction control. Of course, all your buttons up there. Check through the gauges. Horn, you ready? I knew that would work. No reason I'm batting on that one. Turn signals popping up on the dash. Wipers working. We should be good on all this stuff. Let's see if the head up display cuts on. I'm not seeing it pop up on the dash. I guess the heads up is out. Cause I'm not seeing anything come down with it. Nope. Heads up displays out. Bose system in here. Let's hit the road, see how she drives and try not to run out of gas. Getting my seatbelt on, waiting on the traffic. We're gonna go straight to the gas station. I'm telling you this thing's sitting on reserve fuel right now. Lots of traffic here. Anything I see, I will let you know. That is why I do these videos, so let's see how she drives. Pulling out of the lot. Went straight as an arrow down the road. Steering's nice and tight. Suspension on this one, I don't hear any road noise. I got twenty dollars worth of fuel in this ride here. Let's go ahead and drop the top. Get these windows down. 
see if I remember how to do this. <laughs> All right, so undo your clips right up here. I used to have one of these. I should have known. Pull this up, kicks the back up, planer forward there. That way you can push this button and open this whole piece up. And get some trash out of here. Nobody likes dirty napkins in the back. Gross. All right. And then just dump her back. Yeah, I'll say that. There we go. Usually I have two hands when I'm doing this. I'm gonna push the other side down so I'm not hurting anything. Give me a little push. Come on down, baby. Click, click. Now, tops down. Sweet. So much better. All right, let's take off. Okay, let's hit the road. Guess I better put my seatbelt on. Since I couldn't take a, or stick a tag on the back, I got in the floorboard over here. One day that'll get me pulled over. Maybe not. Got Maple Motors tags on there. I'm just right around the corner from the lot, so should be all right. I've always liked these vets. Get into it. Got it on sport mode. Oh yeah. I turned traction off when I was getting on it like that just seeing if it would spin a little bit it's pretty grippy that mirror over 
over there is like stuck in dark mode or something. Pretty sure these change at night. We're back here at the car lot. We're gonna go ahead and pull in and get this outside walk around video. I'm gonna point out Chet's scratches, flaws, check the detailed photos, check for financing at maplemotors.com. And yes, I can ship this anywhere in the country. All right, if you're out of the country, a lot, a lot of those questions, I can get it to the border. That's about as far as we go. All right, let's do this, guys. All right, unlock the doors. pop everything open. I did pop that. May have to do it again. It popped again, but it's a little hard to get up there. There we go. It was the seal making it stick. It probably hadn't been open in a while. Okay, getting ready to do a walk around video. I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, we're back here. I'm gonna be pointing out chips, scratches, flaws, going over everything on the car. That way you know the rest about it. Let's get started here. Coming around the front end. Wheels look pretty sweet. Tires are in great condition on this one. Looking around the bumper, it's got a light scuff there. Lots of chips and scratches on this car, I noticed that. All the way around the front, you got a lot of little chips. You got all the old bug spots that were left on there and ate, ate away the front of the paint on that center piece. It's probably the worst there. The rest of it's not as bad. A good buff would probably help out a lot, but there is some spider cracking on this side. If they'll show up, you got a bunch of touch up marks there and some scuffs. You got some more right here. Can't hide nothing on black. Little scratches there. Coming down. Light scuffs down there. Got some chips down here. Middle of your door there, light scratches. Like I said, a good buff job will help this car out a lot. There's a little bit of wax on here still. Somebody probably tried to hand wax it. There's some chips. Little spot there. Back to black needs to be put on that. It's this uh, like liquid type stuff. If you get some oil back on it, look what happens. It gets darker. It's more like a sealant type oil. It works pretty good for a while. I'm wondering what happened to the heads-up display. Oh, doesn't look like it's in there anymore. A little dry around that. Same stuff.
Same thing with your jams. Get that stuff down in there, it'll black it all out. You got some uh, bubbling popping up under the paint right here on the edges. Look at all that. It's around the edges of the trunk. Some chips down in here. A little bit around the edge there too. Bubbling around this edge. Coming up around the back. Light scuffs and scratches. This exhaust kicked out there. A little fuzz hanging from a spider web. <laughs> Coming down this side, you got a scuff back here. Light scratch there. Little chips up there spot here and there and there on the edge of the door you got some chips too coming down the lower portion here in pretty good shape mid section lots of little chips Little chips on the mirror. Door panel on this one. You're missing a little piece that goes up in here. There we go. Couldn't find it for a second there. We're gonna put this up in just a minute. I wanna get some pictures with the top down. Dry cracking in the seat. It's not all ripped up though. But there is some little cracks. Motor's nice and quiet. A little bit of your fabric needs to be glued back. Coming on down with the hood, let's look at it. clip now you got some chips and some bubbles up here in the corner some chips there got some bubbles on the front of the hood here light scratch or a big scratch not light big scratch you ain't buffing that out little spots in the paint
All right, guys. I appreciate you watching. Make sure to hit subscribe, share, and hit like. I'll keep these videos coming your way. I hope you enjoyed this test drive. Check out maplemotors.com for financing and shipping, and we'll get it over to you. Uh, you can also give us a call, 615-822-4444. The best way to find out about our inventory is check every Monday at 11. For now, actually, I'm going home. I was going to say doing another test drive. It's 5 o'clock. It's time to roll out. I'll see you later, guys.